Hey folks, I don't know if the video started in time, there's some weird delay, but here we are. Uh, oh, we have a Philidor, i got to turn my sound down for the, the moves. But somehow I found when I do that, it actually doesn't always work. Somehow it still comes out loud in the video, but that shouldn't happen. I'm really thirsty, but I, my water filter was empty, and so I'm waiting for it to fill up. So I'm going to be dying of thirst this game. Um, I'm slow confused here, the computer's being slow. This is all normal position. B6, A4 is normal. Uh, this position, you know, I don't play it so amazingly. Although I did beat a Grandmaster in a tournament. But I feel like often I make some bad moves. <laughs> uh, this A5 line, I don't... I don't remember the idea. H4, no, I'm just going to develop my pieces for now. It's this idea to take and go knight E5 and C5. I don't... I don't think so now, because knight e5 would attack his queen. I guess I'll just play some kind of normal moves, like queen e2 and then rook e8, which is the queen on the same line as my... Let me think, let me think. Oh, God, uh, I'm going to do this. I can't figure out if defending e4 or e d4 is more important. Also, sometimes the knight goes to d2. But this looks reasonable. Uh, I guess rook d is okay. Uh, so after bishop f8, I have to figure out what to do, because he's been threatening nothing, actually. Well, knight f8? Um, you know, I wish my queen was in, I don't know, e2 for some reason. I don't know what to do. I can't come up with a plan. Um, knight e2? Oh, God, uh, knight h2, I guess. Uh, my plan is to get the knight to g3. For, like, I'm going to go knight f1 to g3. I think I think about bishop f1. Oh, no, I can't get my knight there. Bishop d3 looks clunky. Queen e2. Blah. I don't want to take because it just gives him the free development. But bishop d3 looks really clunky. If one takes the square away from the knight, I'm, I'm going to do this. Something's clunky about my position. I'm also moving slow. Down on time. Let's see if I can uh, catch up on the clock. What's going on though? My opponent's lagging. Hopefully it's not me. His clock's not moving. Him who's lagging. Uh, but important lesson, like when you when you capture an e6 in a situation like that, his knight from f8 just comes to e6 in one shot and helps him develop the pieces. So I didn't really want to do that. I could have retreated. Um, again, though, bishop f1 takes away the f1 square from the knight, which I kind of want to move the knight to g3 because the f5 square is a bit weak. So now, I think this is okay. i got to watch out for d5 type moves. Seems like it should be okay. Like, if he goes d5, I take. He takes the pawn, bishop to b5, attacks his rook on e8. Uh, he lagged and lost some time, which is good news for me. Alright, see now instead of his knight, his piece being developed, when whoever takes develops the other person's piece. Like my, my queen's a little active now. I didn't see that. Is it good? Knight takes d5. Probably pretty good. How good? Um. Knight b5 do anything? Knight d5 is interesting. I have to, I have to actually think about this move seriously. I don't think it's that good. But knight d5, queen somewhere. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just going to take. Oh my god. Queen d3, pawn takes, queen takes. My queen is in a very unfortunate spot. Um, I'm going to play this. I don't really know what to do anymore. I don't want to take back any four. I just have a bad feeling about that. And so next move, if he takes my knight, I'm going to take his pawn and I'm going to hope for the best here. If he takes on e5, I can take on b7. I'm threatening bishop to b6, so he has to watch out for that. So at least he has some problems to, to solve. Okay, bishop b6 is no longer a threat. I kind of want to go knight g3 next move. Just try to go knight takes e4. Alright, um... Somehow assuming rook b8 will be okay for me. Like his pieces look a little clunky. 
I use that word a lot today, clunky. Rook b8, probably queen c6. He can't go rook b2 because of bishop d4. I mean, he probably, yeah, he can't. And if queen b2, again, these pieces are just backed up. Okay, this is good for me. Now I can develop a piece for free. I feel like I haven't used as much time as it says I have, but I guess I can't argue with the clock. I don't remember thinking that much, though. Door's open. My door's not usually open in the background when I'm playing. Today it is. Uh, I kind of want to go 92. Move my knight to d4, f4. I, I think I'm better here. Like, slightly better. I don't know where to put the... I, I guess knight c3, then bishop f6. I, I'm going to sack that a pawn. Zip no, don't do my cats now, causing problems. Um, I'm gonna sack it. Oh my god, stop, please. Jesus Christ, that's why I can't have my door open. My cat's now climbing on the table while I'm playing. What is this move? I don't even understand it. I don't know. I'm very distracted, but I might be close to winning now. I have knight d6 ideas. I can go queen e2, though. Maybe that does big defense. Queen e2, rook d2, queen e1, king h2. You can see that move. Mm. I'm actually going to play this ridiculous move. Not actually. Um, knight d6, queen e6. Rook takes rook. Being so active, but oh my god. Looks good, and then knight d6, threatening queen f7. I'm really, I'm thinking a bit slow today. Give me, folks. I'm up a pawn somehow, <laughs> and the c5 pawn is really weak. I'm a little concerned though, because my brain feels a little on the slow side. Uh, hold on. See, look, I'm, I'm like freezing up when it's just like a normal position. Like, why can't I take it? Oh, okay, I lose a piece. Um, I'm freezing up. I don't have, um, I just, I can't process things fast enough. <laughs> uh, C4, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I hung my each pawn. Well, I can take the bishop then. I'm trying to get space for my king. Like, I want to go king g2 and just stay safe. God, I'm like really slow today. Uh wait, I have to watch out for knight of four type moves. Oh no, what am I talking about? Take that with my pawn. It goes knight of four. Uh don't know why I did that. Mystery to everyone. Oh, I'm just gonna play solid, put a bishop on f2, and just chill out. Man, oh man. Random move. Validating move. Uh, I might I actually have no plan. A oh, queen b7 is a plan. Threatening mate, hard to stop actually. I mean, he can go queen f8, but and queen e4. I've gained a central square, his knight is pinned, everything's happy now. Right, Amy is gonna lose on time also. Ah, uh, this looks good. h5 is threatened, he has to go back with his king. I guess he could do this. Ah, uh, I have a lot of good moves here. I blundered a little bit. Whatever. <laughs> He's gonna flag. Uh I spaced out this game.
Turn that computer engine. I wanted me to go d5. I wanted queen f, bishop f1. I just didn't want to block my... Oh, d5 makes sense, gaining a tempo. Yeah, I just didn't see this idea. It likes queen b3, though. I think I'm basically okay. I, I, I didn't like queen takes pawn. I thought it was a bit better here. I thought it was just better most of the game, though. I, I don't know about knight d2. Rook d8. He didn't do that. Yeah, c5 is just a horrible move. But... I don't know. It just looked really bad. Like, weakening. Giving, pushing my knight to good squares. But rook d8, I guess I didn't see that. Now he's threatening it. c5. So actually he gives me some real problems. Well, whatever. Hopefully I would have managed my way out of it. But that's what he should have done. Then later, I was just kind of like... I wasn't thinking very good. Fortunately, I won anyway. Yay. Um, back to 2,500 after that last debacle, last game. See y'all like you... Ah, see y'all next time. Bye-bye.